Hello, hello, dear Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your patience. This is your mid month of October 2019. And yes, this reading is late. You can take the messages that pertain to you when you watch this video. So, it's, of course, it's a general reading. So, see what comes out for you. This card really doesn't want to go back in. Dear Sagittarius, we've got Leo here in strength. I'm going to take it as the first card. I hope that you're doing all well. I'm doing a Celtic cross and we're having a new moon in Scorpio on the 27th or 28th, depending on which part of the world you're in. Um, the sun is moving into Scorpio in a couple of days. So it's Scorpio season now on Halloween on the 31st of October we're having Mercury retrograding in the sign of Scorpio whilst Venus is there the Sun will be there as well and what is Scorpio? Scorpio is all about intimacy intimacy money from other sources your partner's money uh, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto therefore it's all about transformation changes coming through deep intimate connections as well for me it's the house of commitment because that's when you move in together you share your bed you share your finances and therefore Scorpio can be very transformative okay so we've got the strength card and we have the card of Aquarius which is the challenge Okay, and I'm going to take this card as well. And we've got the King of Pentacles in the foundation. King of Pentacles would be Taurus for me, could be any other earth sign, but mainly I see Taurus here. Let's see what's in the recent past for Sagittarius. And we have the Tower. Very interesting. I love the Tower. Scorpio energies. Maybe even Uranus, the energy of Uranus in Taurus. Uranus in Taurus is all about our values, our self-worth, our money, our values, also the five senses, okay, and the physical body. Let's see what we've got as a crowning card. We have the another major arcana, which is the Hanging Man, Neptune, and Pisces. So we've got one, two, three, four major arcana so far. Let's look at the Reese, um, sorry, near future. Near future for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. What's showing up for the near future? And we have the Ace of Pentacles. That is beautiful. That is an offer from the Divine. Look at the angel here. Now, if you're after the cards I'm using, look at the description box below. Okay, I have them there for you, so you know what your um, you know which deck this is. If you like to purchase it, it is an amazing deck. I love it. Let's look at the position of you, and we have the Seven of Cups, more Piscean energy. There is confusion around you. I see. What's um? What's the environment position for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? And we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, which is a card of conflict in your hopes and fears. We've got the Four of Pentacles. And the outcome, dear Sagittarius, is the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. That's beautiful. Four of Wands is a card of celebration. It's the general energy. It is stabilizing a situation, a home, a wedding, an engagement. As you can see, the bride is walking out. Okay, so there is a, a union, some sort of a partnership, something that is that we're committing to or you're committing to. Okay, could be a housewarming party, but I, what I see is a bride here. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful energies. What's at the bottom? We've got the sun and Leo energies. 
The sun is the heart, it's true love, children, it's vitality, clarity, warmth, and the sun is also very energizing, isn't it? And it looks very victorious. The way that child is holding the flag looks like a victory to me. Looks like a real victory. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. You've got the strength card as well. What's beneath the sun? And we have the high priestess. And the high priestess in the past, she is, she's got a deep knowing. She's very spiritual as well. Now, there may have been things that were withheld in the past. Okay, she she usually hold the scroll, holds the scrolls. She keeps um, secrets. As you can see, she's wearing a cross there, so it could mean religion. She is the female version of the Hierophant. Okay, but she's very spiritual and very intuitive. We've got Virgo and Pisces energies here. Okay, and beneath that is the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be relating to money, a money matter, money of the family. Again, the Ten of Pentacles can mean marriage, but it can also mean stabilizing something around a family, a family business. Tens always break down to the ace. So you finish some sort of a cycle, dear Sagittarius. Finish some sort of a cycle. And for me, the High Priestess, she is a number two. Okay, it's twos are all about balance, choice. She does sit between those two pillars. So you could be at a point of needing to make a choice. Maybe you're ready to reveal what's true to you and in your heart. Okay, because this is true love. Leo is the fifth house. Creativity, risk-taking, flirtatious, flirtatious energies, romance. Anything that you've created, of course, is Leo. And the clarity is here about stabilizing some sort of a situation. Let's take, before I read the cards, let's look at your love life. And I'm using a beautiful deck called the Lover's Path Tarot. Absolutely love this deck. So easy to use. Play Spirit, Sagittarius, and their love life. What do they need to know? Mid of October till end of October, roughly. Sagittarius and their love life. What does Sagittarius need to know? What's the message for Sagittarius? And we have the five of wands, which fives are always a conflict. Okay, it looks like, as you can see here, there is a group that are not on the same page. And we do have three people. We don't see the five wands, but we do see three people here. So this could be a situation where three people are involved. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a, a love triangle, of course not. It looks like there is some sort of conflict here. And what I want to say is, what I can see here is that I would say more than likely it's the two masculine energies that are fighting and the female is in between. She's the sandwich. She could be the reason. She's the reason why the fight, the argument is happening here. Let's take another card. And we've got the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is a childlike energy, a card of nostalgia, a card of a soulmate coming back from a past. Mercury retrograde does bring people back from the past. Now, some of you may have children, may share children, but here we don't see children, they're adults. Looks like they've been together as children and they're, they're coming together as adults. Could it be from a past lifetime? Yes, it could. Doesn't necessarily have to be from your childhood. It could be from a past time. 
years ago. Okay, we've got five and then six. Five and six equal eleven. Could be that uh, karmic situation is coming back. And not only karmic, 11 is the number of justice. Now, we've got the strength card and she looks to be exhausted. Okay, now this is a card of, um, you know, having that inner strength. Your higher self is taming and being patient, taming that wild beast, taming that lion within you. And the lion can speak of ego. So this is, could be a card of ego, but I don't see a lot of viciousness or, I see that the, the lion is very um, serene and very calm here. So she's done her job. She's done a good job here. So we've got Leo and Aquarius, which are both fixed energies. Now the star is a wish fulfillment. It's a card of hope, a card of healing. Okay, the strength card also speaks of patience. Patience that your wish is trying to be fulfilled. It's trying to come through. This is spirit again. Now the star is Aquarius. Aquarius can mean of the future something that you are looking to achieve and Aquarius again Aquarius is the ingenious mind it's that ingenious thought it's rebelling against the norm doing something differently now Aquarius also speaks of social media um, social media, communication through social media, something at a distance, yes, the star, you're following your brighter star, so we've got the sun and we've got the star which are two illuminaries, so what I feel is that you are receiving the clarity, information, or because they're both the sun and the star, they're the two nicest, two brightest cards in the tarot. I'm thinking that just like the um, the star shows all these stars around her, the challenge is to be patient that the stars are aligning in your favor. That's what I feel here. Okay, in the foundation we have the king of pentacles and he doesn't look too happy. He has his head down, maybe he has money issues, worries around finances, business. I feel as though this is your energy. Dear Sagittarius, you may have strong earth in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, as I said, Taurus is mainly the energy here. There is something that, there is a lot of thought around this pentacle. How can he make it grow? He's putting his ingenious mind at work here. Okay, now he's sitting in the position of foundation security, home, and he's a very strong player where money is concerned. He is full of security. Usually we've got the King of Pentacles with no financial problems, He's a business owner, he's someone who's very dependable, a lot of people depend on him. Maybe that's what the burdens are, that he's got a lot on his plate. In the recent past we have the tower, okay, so something is shifting at, it, at its core, it hasn't been built on solid ground, hasn't been something stable, therefore it's time for it to change. Now, could this talk about Uranus in Taurus? Remember, I said Uranus is in Taurus. We've also got the Aquarius card, which is the ruling, um, Uranus rules Aquarius. So could it be things to do with money changing quickly, suddenly? Could it be anything to do with self-worth and values? 
Could it be, dear Sagittarius, that your values are changing? Could it be that your self-worth is being changed? So it looks like in the recent past and in the distant past, there's been some sort of a feeling that there is change, uh, changes ahead. I feel that you are trusting your intuition and know that something is changing suddenly and from the core, from its foundation. And that could be a little bit worrying for you. Now, in your crowning area and in your thoughts, we have the hanging man. This is a card of sacrifice, waiting, being patient, being tied up for some reason, holding on for something that's very important, something that you need to, to look at in a different way. But I do feel that some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. We've got two cards of Pisces, Sun, Moon or Rising. Now Pisces is all about sacrifice, it's all about unconditional love. Pisces can be some sort of a completion, an ending. It is the last sign of the zodiac. But Pisces can also be confusion. I feel as though the confusion is gradually because there's going to be a major shift. Some of you may have had this tower moment already. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel that something is clearing. Something that you've been confused about is clearing. That haziness, that illusion is shifting and changing. You're going to be seeing much more clearer. You've got so much light from the star and from the sun. Remember here we've got the sun. Now some of you may just be feeling very connected to spirit. We've got the high priestess here as well. She is very spiritual and she receives the downloads. Even She's connected to source. That's where she takes her information from. We also have we also have the Ace of Pentacles here in the near future. And as I said, the divine is giving you uh, something that is very steady, very sure to last, to last a long time. Something that is divine, something that you've been wishing for. You do have the wish card here. Look at how small the pentacle is that the King of Pentacles is holding. And then the angel brings in a bigger pentacle. So what this is saying to me is that what was of value to you in the distant past is no longer. This is a new beginning here. Now some of you may be beginning a new relationship. Could be another earth sign. Could be someone who's got strong earth in their chart. And I see here that you do have choices. Dear Sagittarius, you do have choices. Seven. Seven is a number of the divine. And as you can see in this card, she's actually looking in the trunk. She's having a peek. So she's being notified. She's being sent the message that gives her an idea of which one of these cups is the one that is the right one to take. Which one of these cups is not an illusion. Which one is true and it's real. And I feel that whichever cup is taken is going to be something that is very precious and something very, something of value to you because she's um, looking in a gold trunk. Usually there are gold coins in something like that. There is a treasure in there. Now some of you have had a peek. You've got the indication, the inclination of what is what is to be what is to be in the future in the distant past you really were dumbfounded i feel that that's the energy that this king is giving out no idea whatsoever and here came the tower and there is more light here isn't there here came the tower and the epiphany the epiphany the indication the information the clarity, 
the knowledge beautiful I love that ace of Pentacles for you now what is surrounding you is the five of swords so obviously you are dealing with conflict around you through others with others fives are an imbalance always and you know it looks really as though you're trying to battle something on your own and this is bigger than what it really is I think that this is more of a fear-based energy I feel as though Sagittarius may feel that they're in com competition all the time and they need all the strength there is you know there is a lot of weariness here some of you have been overworked too much on your shoulders too many responsibilities but it's going to pay off the divine and spirit know that you've done this you've put in the work you've done the right thing you've paid your dues and the gift is coming through now in your hopes and fears four of pentacles this is my Taurus card again fours always speak of being a miser not having enough feeling as though you don't have enough and you are uh, we've got a robot here this is very robotic there's no no feeling here there's no emotion there's no love it's a very cold energy now fours always speak of home stability foundation security but it looks as though you've been doing this over and over again without without any emotion without any feeling so what this is telling me is that I believe that some of you are wanting to cut your workload in half because your the epiphany here I would say is an awakening which is showing you what's the right thing to pursue what is more important is it what's in my pocket or is it what's in my heart because I feel here with the miser card and the four four of Pentacles especially the way the man is sitting there on that throne I feel that that's the awakening so I do feel that because there is a lot of weariness here you've burned the candle at both ends I think you've done too much it's a time to change your perspective change the way you're looking at things and I believe that by tweaking something like that it's like opening the door to beautiful things here things that are important things that are of value again as I said Uranus changes the way we value things the way we value others Uranus is doing things in a different way in a non-traditional way now the outcome is the nine of wands as you could see here it looks like it's been hard work and we've got Venus here she is like she does remind me um, just when Venus was born that's how she stands she usually sits in a shell here she's grown roots she's been here forever she's wanting to be reborn just like um, she was born from you know the sea she came out to bless To bless the world with her beauty with her uh, abundance with her values with her love I feel that there is love here and that's why all these wands are all around there's so much green here look at all the growth on those wands I think that it's time for change as you can see she's been here for a while she's come out of that tree trunk and what is the tree what is a tree trunk it's something that is very sturdy it's the foundation of a family and I feel that what is being born from this foundation is love love is coming through love is worth fighting for now love does it comes in many different shapes and sizes many different forms there is the motherly love there are so many different types of love I could you know fill up a whole page if I named them but 
unconditional love is the root of this tree and that's Venus and unconditional love speaks of Pisces so I do feel that there is strong Piscean energy here as I'm doing your reading we've got Neptune in Pisces it's its home sign Neptune again in Pisces is unconditional love its sacrifice Pisces is also a very spiritual house it's a house of magic and it's trining it's trining which is a very positive aspect over to Venus in Scorpio now both Scorpio and Venus are very magical houses Scorpio is the occult it's it's things that are hidden beneath but it's you know it's a very um, it's a very psychic house it's it's a house of um, feeling the energies connecting connecting to things that were deep things that were hidden and both Pisces and Scorpio are very dark houses but the Sun now moving into Scorpio will bring the light into that darkness and obviously when the Sun moves into Scorpio it's going to try and over to Neptune just like Venus is right now and that's when we will probably see we will probably have the light going on in these situations you will have the clarity just like as I said the star and the Sun the light is going to come into the darkness and you will see your path forward okay what I'd like to do is take some extra cards let's take some more tarot for each position here Oops. let's look at the strength card as well as the um, star card which as I said both Leo and Aquarius are very fixed energies therefore they're very stubborn there's a lot of stubborn energy in the position of now and we've got the death card which is Scorpio another fixed sign Scorpio as I said when the Sun moves into Scorpio we're going to have more clarity to see what is transforming for you what is transforming dear Sagittarius now some of you may be on the cusp with Scorpio and I have already mentioned Taurus we've also got the tower which is Scorpio now there is some sort of a change all that patience is going to pay off something is dying away something is falling away let's take one more card on that death card and we've got the Queen of Cups and I have mentioned the sign of Pisces now just like the High Priestess she is the similar energies to the High Priestess she's very intuitive now for some of you this could be of course Scorpio energy as well but I believe that for most of you this is Piscean energy the Queen of Cups <clears throat> I'm going to say is either Pisces and I feel that this is your partner this is either Pisces or Virgo we do have a fair bit of Pentacles here we did have the ten of Pentacles right here we've also got beneath the ten of Pentacles is the knight of Pentacles which I see as Virgo energy could be any other earth sign but for me this is Virgo very slow and steady forward momentum very slow though trotting in usually the um, the knight of Pentacles is stopped in his tracks but here there is forward momentum very slow but surely getting to the goal beneath that is the two of cups dear Sagittarius this is a divine 
soulful connection. This is two people that agree, even agree to disagree. They're two halves of a whole. Their souls are joined together. And this is in the distant past, obviously. There is a deep connection here. Beneath that is the will of fortune. Okay, so something's changed. Jupiter, which rules this card, has brought something for you. It's brought some sort of a completion. The ending of a karmic cycle, maybe. And what was on the other side? The two of cups. Very slow and steady, though. Ace of Pentacles, slowly and surely moving forward, did get to the Ten of Pentacles at one stage. And again, Ten of Pentacles does speak of stability. It speaks of stability where money is concerned, where family, there is a lot of stable energy. There's, there's a lot of heavy security. There's support here. And then we have spirituality steps in, faith steps in. If there have been issues around family with the Ten of Pentacles, some of you may have completed a cycle. There's two tens. We have the Wheel of Fortune and then we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Completion, completing cycles, cycles ending. And again, the two, the High Priestess, does remind me of walking through that new doorway. The truth being revealed where relationships of any sort are concerned or even where your balance is concerned. So walking through that new doorway, walking towards the light, walking towards true love. And I feel that with that High Priestess there was a deep knowing that this could take it could go from the energy of flirtatious energies and fun, which is Leo, to something that is stable and committed, such as Scorpio, Scorpio energies, where we're moving to right now, in a day or two, I should say. So let's take, let's take the King of Pentacles and we've got the Justice card, which is Libra. Justice, again, very karmic. Page of Pentacles, which can be an adolescent child. This can also be a messenger, um, a message coming through which promises something real and tangible, something that's going to grow, something that's got potential. Okay, so... And here we've got the Page of Swords, a message of truth, a message which turns on the light. It brings some sort of clarity, some sort of uh, perception. And then we've got the Six of Swords. So moving on from a past situation, something that was quite heavy, quite hard to handle, as I see with this King of Pentacles here. Now what I feel is, I don't know why, but I do feel that, and I'm getting the goosebumps as I say that, the King of Pentacles is looking back to his childhood. Don't forget that the area, home area, is usually the house, not usually, is the house of Cancer. Cancer is the inner child. I feel that the King of Pentacles is looking back to his childhood when he was at his first steps, when he was looking at that pentacle and wanting to make it grow. So he is reminiscing. He's very nostalgic about the past and how he's come a long way and probably thinking of those innocent years where he didn't have all those burdens. Now, the King of Pentacles can be a father. This could also be a child that is um, very important. A child that he wants to provide to, just like he was looked after by his own. 
So I feel that there is heavy responsibility in relation to a child here. Or, as I said, he is going back to the past, looking at his childhood. So again, things to do with the past, especially with that Mercury retrograde. Now, I feel that this is another situation where there is some sort of a message, something to do with even legal matters. There are a lot of swords here, so it's all perception or thoughts. 11 and 6, 17 and 1 is 18. 18 is the moon and the moon is all about fears, it's all about mother, it's all about our foundation, but you know the moon rules the fourth house again. So could it be that some of you, some of you may have had hardship in your security, in your home, around your home, around your foundation and you are moving, you are moving um, your thoughts maybe let's say that you are traveling your perception is traveling you're looking to the future and you're imagining let's say what it would be like to take that step to let's say speak your truth first of all and end a karmic situation the justice card Justice is relationships of all sorts. It's also a number 11. 11 is that new doorway. Let's take more cards. Let's look at that tower in the recent past. And we've got the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords can be a solicitor, someone who works in the legal field. This could also be someone making a judgment. Look at the way she's pointing out her hand. She's announcing something. She could be cutting someone out of her life. Queen of Swords. Someone who is very perceptive, very intelligent, but very cold as well. So could it be in relation to communication that's been that's been communicated or a ruling, a legal ruling which was an awakening. Let's look at that hangman. So the uh, air sign would be Aquarius mainly. Let's look at the hanging man. And we've got the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. But it's also, this could mean that you're waiting for celebration or you're waiting to get together with family. Waiting, these could be three siblings, three family members. For others of you, if this is in relation to business, then you are... Um, hoping for some sort of a meeting, a get-together, where you may, through others, through other relationships, through other people, um, have some sort of an agreement in relation to the sacrifice that you have made. And this could be around your status, your goals, your career, and also as a father could be because this um, area up here would be Capricorn. Capricorn is the authority, it's the father, it's the elder, it's the boss. Let's take another card. And what I feel it's saying up here is that your sacrifices will be rewarded. Let's take one more card on that. And we've got the Ten of Cups. You see, it will be rewarded and your unconditional love will also be rewarded. Look at the Ten of Cups. 
and we've got 13 cups 13 is the number of death that's where the transformation comes through you will probably find out about that in the time of Scorpio and you will be going through a transformation just as the collective energy we're all going through some sort of transformation here in the near future four of Pentacles you have it twice four of Pentacles the miser card holding on to something holding on and wishing wishing that things will come in to bring change wishing praying to your angels some of you want to stabilize something the four of pentacles again speaks of your stability now for some of you out there you may be saving your pennies to purchase a new home and if that's the case you're almost there you're one wand away it's only a matter of time let's take another card and we've got the king of wands now and the king of wands is someone who is fiery creative he's someone who is spontaneous who will take action someone who is driven by their desires as well now the king of wands could be another fire sign but I feel that it's your energy here you're turning into the king of wands you're standing in your in your truth we've got another card that just opened up and we've also got the hermit here so after soul searching that's what I believe soul searching here with the energy of Virgo you've seen the light you've become the wiser the elder and you're coming out you're coming out very strong because these two energies are very similar these two cards talk about holding back holding back on what what is your truth holding back your feelings holding back and not telling the world until you were certain because you were soul searching soul searching to the point where you're coming out I believe coming out and ready to take action you're ready to free up your life you're ready to take control of your life and I believe that the the angel here is giving you that new beginning let's look at the position of you which is the seven of cups and we've got the Emperor now and the Emperor is very Saturnian of course the Emperor is Taurus or Aries energies now Aries is ruled by Mars Mars is in Libra at this time so not not very strong there because Mars loves being in Scorpio now the energy that the Emperor gives off is quite as I said Saturnian quite tough because he needs to be certain that his rulings will have the best interest for the Empire for the people and therefore he's got many many responsibilities he's grown old so he can sit on that throne so I believe that you've come a long way dear Sagittarius You've come a long way and you know there's many layers in the tarot I feel that some of you are probably fantasizing this position you're fantasizing being the Emperor at a latest later stage I would say so I feel that this reading has got a lot to do with timing there's a lot of time travel here we're going way back to the past look at the generations here look at the generations and this could be this could be an elder a father okay this could be the father of the king of Pentacles this is the child so we've got three generations and it's all about wealth now when I say wealth not only physical tangible monies and wealth 
but also the wealth of the experiences of life. And if this is who you want to, whose footsteps you want to follow in, dear Sagittarius, this is what you are imagining. The fact that the card is here says that yes, you will be the emperor at some point. You are still at the stage, I would say more than likely, of the king of wands. You're going for your act, act uh, for your you're going for your desires, you're taking action, and the emperor, if it's someone that's passed on, I would say that they're with you in spirit, because don't forget, Neptune is spirit. And I would say that you are being guided by this elder and this wiser man, man or woman, doesn't matter, that's going to help put you on this throne at some point. Now, as an energy, here's a number four, which speaks of stabilizing a situation, getting very stable, very sturdy. Let's look at the environment position, which is the five of swords. Fives are all about change. It's funny that we've got a four, four of pentacles, five of swords, they equal a nine. We've got another nine here. You've also got the hermit, which is a nine. What's this five of swords? And we've got the three of wands. So the three of wands is the card before the four. You've sent out your ships, you've worked hard, you've been conflicted. But now I believe that you are at the point where you know that you've put in that groundwork, you've taken that step to expand. Let's say you've put in the hard work, you've worked hard. Now you're wanting to put in those four wands into the ground, those four staffs into the ground, just like here. Okay, and their roots go deep. Now, could you be dealing with someone that is waiting? Could you be the ship that is coming through for someone else? Because this is the environment. This is what is external to you. We do have Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising. You could be dealing with, as I said, could be Virgo, Pisces, and also Leo. Leo is strong here. The Queen of Swords, I feel, is different energy. It's because we've got Aquarius here, the card of Aquarius. And I feel that this is more than likely Aquarian energy, which speaks of the future. As I said, the Tower for me is Uranus, mainly. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles, which is in your hopes and fears. And we've got the chariot. The chariot. So moving on from the robotic situation, moving on from a, a place that you once called home. This could be a metaphorical or a physical movement. Overcoming obstacles as well. And this is spirit driving you. As I said, for those of you that have been saving your pennies and working hard to build on something... You're almost done. All you need now is a, the Ace of Wands to get to the completion point here. And we've got the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can speak of stealth, intelligence, and conflict. Now, Seven of Swords... Sevens are all, always about conflict, but sevens for me are divine. They are the divine. I feel as though for some of you, you've been quite, um, how do we say it? You've been intelligent in the fact that you haven't shared, you have not shared your desires with others. And I feel that in a way, dear Sagittarius, I feel as though you may be coming out 
coming into your own and coming out about what your desires are and which path you want to take I feel that here now because we've got the Queen of Swords here which I said could be a legal representative now for some of you you may have been dealing with an air sign and it would have been an Aquarius if it was in the past that was it gone finished part of the past maybe some of you were intelligent and you've come a long way and I think that what you've what you've built what you have built on your own is something that will be long-standing something that will be huge it's going to be big and what do I say it's going to be big look at the look at the size of those wands it's something that's going to be quite grand and I feel that there will be um, people will be congratulating you on your efforts in whatever you've accomplished here and you know that swords are always about intelligence so some of you may have because the page of swords and the page of pentacles could be students and I feel that this could be a card of intelligence here that you've beaten your competitors here with the five of swords some of those of you that have uh, Sagittarius you are all about higher education philosophy even the hermit here could be someone that is studying whatever you've studied I think that you've stolen the um, the prize you know from under their noses you've taken the first spot let's say the highest mark the honors and that looks very much like a victory card indeed let's take another card Wow, Three of Swords. Hmm. Three of Swords is a broken heart. There, Someone's been disappointed. I don't feel that this is you. I really don't feel that this is you. Dear Sagittarius, I feel that it's got something to do with this ruling. It could be some disappointment, yes, that you've had because of this ruling, whatever legalities you've gone through. But if for those of you that have been dealing with an air sign, I feel that that's where the intelligence was. Look at the way he's stealing away from that heartbreak. He's just getting away from that, just brushing past it, if you get my drift. So you're not letting this, not letting this situation take you down. Okay, you're not letting this Three of Swords touch you. Let's take another card. And we've got the High Priestess again. Intuition, secrets, having a knowing. Look at the new moon at her feet. Now, this probably indicates the uh, new moon in Pisces which wasn't long ago um, did I say Pisces I wanted to say Virgo the new moon in Virgo and therefore after that we had the full moon in Pisces so in that time I would say in the time of Virgo some secrets have come to light something was um, intelligently manipulated if I could say it like that to the point of um, the detriment of someone but the success of yours your success here I feel now what I'd like to do is I would like to take a couple of cards from this deck I will put the four of wands down I want to take a card on the 
the Four of Wands. I want to see what that's all about. Four of Wands, Four of Wands, the General Energy, please, Spirit. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles, there we go. So family, marriage, this could be an abundant wedding as well. This could be support from the family. Okay, this is beautiful. Absolutely. So much happiness here. So much uh, acceptance from family. I feel that, dear Sagittarius, this is making the family very happy. I feel that there is a lot of happiness behind you and a lot of support from the people that surround you, that your one-on-one -on -one relationships. What I'd like to do, because I want to say that, yes, this could be a love triangle as well. Okay, you may have closed the door on an air sign, I'm going to say. This could be the, the tower, could also be an epiphany for a past partner. Why do I say that? Because here we've got the five of staves and we've got, as I said, the two males are fighting over this female. Okay, because of a soulmate connection. Okay. Because of children as well. Children could be in the picture. Um, I mean because of children, that there are children in the picture here. But I feel that the soulmate energy is calling and that's probably why you've had to close the door on the past. And there is a new path for you. Dear Sagittarius, for a lot of you, doesn't mean that you're all in a love triangle, as I say. This could just be, you know, having some sort of a disappointment at some stage. This could even be, you know, the Three of Swords could even be jealousy. For some of you that may be dealing with friends that are not, that are not, you know, friends that are not truthful with you. Seven of Swords. You know, they do say be careful who your friends are because sometimes people pretend that they're your friends and they're not. So whoever is squirming in jealousy because of your successes, then let them squirm. Okay, so let's take now another card. As I said, one card on the five of wands here. And we've got the page of swords, the truth. Page of Swords, again, messages. He's holding a shield. <laughs> he's scared of the truth. He's, he's wearing an armor, a suit of armor as well. And I was just talking about the truth hurting. It looks like, yes, sometimes it can hurt. Let's take the Six of Cups. You know, this is telling me that someone is ready, ready to take action, ready to to hear the truth. They're dressed for it, ready for it. Six of Cups. And we've got the Emperor again. Wow. Did I say the Emperor? No, this is the King of Cups. I'm so sorry. King of Cups. Wow. Queen of Cups. King of Cups, look at that. I thought it was the Emperor. So could it be the same person as the Emperor? Obviously. You know, things are not said for no reason. They come out because they need to be heard. We've got a soulmate connection here. Both of them are holding a cup each. Surprise, surprise. And we've got Scorpio energies, we've got Cancerian energies, and we've got Pisces. Could be any water signs. Doesn't matter. Let's take one on the outcome. So I've got the Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, and the High Priestess. And we've got the Justice card. Wow. Justice is served. At the end of the day, equilibrium, balance, partnerships, and not only because Libra is all about democracy. Okay, we've got democracy and we've got equality here. 
Number 11, new cycle begins. New cycle begins and, you know, this sword really stands out to me. The truth always brings balance to our lives. The truth and not withholding information. So, dear Sagittarius, what I'd like to do now is I would actually like to take, I'm going to take the personalities here. So I'm taking the King of Pentacles. I am taking, where did she go? The Queen of Cups. I am taking the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands, and I feel that this is your energy, I really do. We've got the King of Wands and the Emperor. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take one on each, even though I feel that it's still your energy here, but I'm going to take one on each because, as I said, there are many layers in the Tarot. Okay, and we've also got the King of Cups here, which is... Again, it's you. It is you. So I'm not going to take a card there. Um, the Queen of Swords. I'm going to take one on that as well. Just in case this is an air sign that you were dealing with in the past. Could be Libra, could be Aquarius. Let's take a card on each. I think that the King and the Queen of Cups or I should say this King of Cups here, which I also called the Emperor, is um, the emotional side of you. So we've got the fiery side of you, the earthly side of you, and we've also got the emotional side. Let's see what the um, King of Pentacles, first of all, what is he thinking? Please forget me, it was a mistake. This is the Nine of Swords. Please forget me, it was a mistake. Let's take the Queen of Cups. We have, I'm ready to take the next step with you. And this is the Three of Pentacles. Now I'm going to say that these messages could be flipped as well. So the King of Pentacles in the Foundation area is asking to be forgotten or or it, he could be receiving that message let's see what the Queen of Swords has got to say and we have I have never loved like this before and this is the six of wands now the six of wands can speak of ego as well as success okay so someone who could be very successful very communicative, very well-known, popular, let's say. So I have never loved like this before, even though she's not showing the emotion. She is the Queen of Swords. Let's take now the King of Wands. And we have, I'm not in love with you. I have to be honest with you. Very interesting indeed. Three of Swords, just like up there. And let's take the Emperor. I'm moving on. I'm healing now, leaving the past. And this is the Six of Swords. So it looks like, it looks like the King of Pentacles, King of Wands and the, uh, the Emperor they're all talking about the past situation. Okay, so that's very interesting. We've got what is also very interesting is that this is the Nine of Swords with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor and the King of Wands, which I set up the same person, where they're holding Nine of Swords together. Let's take one on the King of Cups. Let's take one. King of Cups. The Queen of Cups says, I'm ready to take the next step with you. Let's see what the King of Cups has got to say. You were cold, distant to me. I needed more passion. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. 
and he is talking about the past. You were cold and distant to me. I needed more passion. And this is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, which can be a choice. Let's take one more because I still feel as though he's talking about the past. Let's take one more. I want to have a family with you and this is the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so I will leave these messages for you. This is up to you how you suit or don't suit these messages. With the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles is right here. It's right there and it's sitting right under the King of Wands. So I will leave you with these messages and I do hope that they do resonate for most of you. They won't resonate with everyone. Um, I love that for you. Let's take one last message from the Wisdom of the House of the Night, dear Sagittarius. And let's see. Mid-October till end of October 2019. And we have Rigid. And it's a number 30, which is the number of the Empress, rigid. And rigid are the, the, the uh, fixed signs that I've mentioned before, which speaks of stubborn, stubborn energies. Is there a stone wall that stands between you and others? Could that be, could that wall be inside you? Now is the time to become more flexible and to drop to drop your rigid expectations of yourself and especially of others. Don't be afraid to drop your guard a little too. If you are willing to let others in, you will see a benefit in these connections. Another meaning here is that you recognize the wall that others may have put up. Don't take it personally if they won't let you in. This is their way of coping and it has little to do with you. And this has got a lot to do with the wall that I spoke about here. Yeah. And remember how I was talking about the Four of Pentacles, um, the fear of being hurt. The fear of relaxing and being, you know, open. Okay, this is a card of fear, a, hard, a card of holding back. And I do feel with the uh, Four of Pentacles here in your hopes and fears, that yes, you were very robotic, and I feel that that's what's changing, especially with the suit of armor that this page is holding, wearing, I should say, and the shield that he's holding. So yes, I think that that's very on point, the message for you, dear Sagittarius. All right, I hope that Jupiter is bringing the blessings to you, is at the last deacon now flying through the end of Sagittarius. The blessings are coming in very, very soon in the near future. Keep the faith. Don't give up. Thank you very much for taking the time out and your patience again. Sending you lots of love, lots of light. Talk to you soon in about a week. Bye-bye.